So imagine this, you have spent hours tweaking a website font, colors and spacing and then your client says, can we change everything? Well, normally that means endless manual updates across every page of your website. But with DV5's design variable, those days are gone. These game-changing tools let you update your entire website from one single point. And in this video, we are going to explore how design variables can make you a more efficient web designer while keeping all things fun and creative. So if all that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. Now, in case you want to deep dive in this topic and learn more about it, we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out our blog post. I am sure you will find it helpful. So design variables are like your website's control center. They are reusable settings you define once, like your colors, fonts, even text or numbers and then use anywhere on your site. Now with the variable manager in Divi's Visual Builder, you can tweak a variable like brand color and watch it update everywhere instantly. All right, so here we are inside our Divi 5 Visual Builder and in order to access our design variable control hub, we need to go to this icon here in the left hand side menu and here it says variable manager. So let's click on this. So let's make it a little big. All right, so here we can define different type of global variables like numbers, text, images, links, colors, and fonts. So for example, let's say you want to define a global color variable. So we can just click on this. And here you can see various colors that we have already defined. And if in case you want to define a new color, simply need to go to add global color here and give it a title. And then we can choose the color from here. All right. Now in the same way, we can define all the different global variables. So let's start with numbers. And here we again click on add global number and we call it main title. And for the value, we can use all the units from this list. We can use fixed values like pixel or we can use advanced units like calc function or clamp function. So let's go ahead and use advanced units so that we can have a responsive design. And here we will enter value like 25 pixel plus one viewport width. Now, when we define a number global variable, we can use it for maybe assigning font size, padding, border radius, or anything which requires a number. Let's say we define one more and we call it round and we define it as 15 and we choose pixel here. So we are going to use this to define our rounded corners. After that, we have text. If we click on this, here we can define global variables like address, contact, and this is going to help us avoid repetitive content. So anywhere we need to enter address on our website, we can simply use this global variable. In the same way, we have images. And in this case, we have uploaded two logos, the black version as well as a purple one. If we want, we can go ahead and add global image and upload another one from our media library. So I'm just going to remove this one for now. Now next is our link variables. If we click on this, here we have defined offer CTA and we have given the parameter as this URL. So this is helpful when we need to give URL to a button or a link to any text. Let's say we have a summer sale going on. So all our CTAs will have this link and we can update this depending upon what current sale we are running. So right now it's going to this dummy URL and then we have already covered the colors and then we have fonts. So here we have three variables. We have heading, body and we have another one as fancy. So once we gave it a title, we can choose any font from our list. All right. So once we are done defining all the global variables, we just need to click on save variables and apply changes. Now, how we can assign all these design variables on various modules on this page. So first, let's say we have these three columns here. And if we click on this and here, we want to change the border radius. 
So we go to clock column settings. We go to design and inside border, we have border radius. Now we can simply enter the pixel value, but in order to use our global variables, we need to click on this dynamic content icon. Let's click on this. And here we can see all the things that we can use. Either we can use the main title or we can use the variable round that we have defined specifically for the rounded corners. So let's say we click on this and it will automatically pop up the value that we have defined in our global variable. And as soon as we enter that, here you can see our borders are now rounded. And we can do the same for all the two columns here. So I'm just going to delete the two and just duplicate the first one. All right, so now we have the border with a global variable defined for its corner values. Moving on, here we have a title. Let's click on this. And this time we are going to click on design. And for this heading text, we are going to use a font global variable. Again, we click on insert dynamic content. And here we have few variables. So we click on fancy this time. So instantly we got an update in the font. Let's do the same for the other two as well. And along with the font, let's go ahead and change the font size as well. So we go to design again. And this time with the heading font, we go ahead and change the size as well. Right now it's 22. We click on our dynamic content here and we choose main title. So this is going to make it 25 pixel plus one viewport width. So here we can see we have a calc function and we have this parameter here. So with this, we are able to use global variables and combining that with advanced units so that we can create a responsive design. So we do the same for rest of the two headings. All right. Now let's come down here and here we have some text in this column. Instead of this sample text, we want to show our address. So here in the body of our content, we can use the dynamic content icon and then click on address. And instantly we got our address showing here. In the same way, we can click on this text, go to dynamic content. And this time we want to use contact details, which we have defined in our global variable. So now we have our number and email ID showing here. With that, let's go ahead and use this image as well as our global parameter. And here on the right hand side, we have our Divi logo. If we click on this, let's remove this image. And again, we are going to use the dynamic content and we are going to use our black logo image. So it's showing here. Next, we have this button. We are going to use our link global variable here. So let's click on this and we click on link. And again, we have the dynamic content option here as well. So let's click on this and here we can see our global variable. So let's choose this one. All right, so now we have assigned various global variables on different modules of our page. And this is just one single page. Maybe we have a lot more pages that we have created using these design variables. And this is how it makes super easy to do all the editing work. So let's say we want to change the font style of this heading here. And we also want to make it a little bit small. So instead of clicking on this and going back in the settings to do all the individual updates, we can simply go ahead and click on our variable manager. And if we want to change the font size, we simply need to click on fonts. And we know that we are using fancy global variable here. So we just simply need to change this one here. And we can simply choose any font from here and boom, it instantly got updated. In the same way, let's say we want to change the font size of all these headings. We simply go to number and we know that we are using main title for all these headings. So we simply need to change the value here and boom, it got updated instantly on everywhere where we have used these design variables. Now let's come down here. In the same way, we can update our address and contact details as well. And let's say for some reason we want to change the images. We can go ahead and click on images. And instead of this black one, we can replace it with any other image. So let's say we want to add this image instead of this black logo. So you can update this and it will automatically gets updated everywhere where we have used this image. 
Now it's time for the button. So again, we can click on links and here we can simply change the URL and it will get reflected on all the pages where we are using this button with this offer CTA design variable. And once we are done, we simply need to click on save changes and we are done. This is how easy it is to update anything on your website with the help of design variables. So there you go. Design variables in Divi 5 are your secret weapon for faster and smarter web design. They ditch the girt work and keep your design consistent and let you focus on creating something amazing. Whether you are building a small site or a massive e-commerce project, these tools make your workflow sleek and your results stunning. DB5 is perfect for new sites right now, so why not jump in and give it a try? Your next masterpiece is waiting. So go ahead and download DB5 Public Alpha today and experience everything yourself. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress and DB updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.